Section 3 of Beowulf. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This reading by Tad E. Beowulf by Unknown. Translated by Francis Barton Gamer. 6. Hrothgar answered, Helmet of Schildings. I knew him of yore in his youthful days. His aged father was Edge Theo named, to whom at home gave Hrethel the Gaiat his only daughter. Their offspring bold fares hither to seek the steadfast friend. And seamen, too, have said me this, who carried my gifts to the Gaiatish court, thither for thanks. He has thirty men heft of grasp in the gripe of his hand, the bold in battle. Blessed God, out of his mercy, this man hath sent to Danes of the West, as I ween indeed against horror of Grendel. I hope to give the good youth gold for his gallant thought. Be thou in haste, and bid them hither, clan of kinsmen, to come before me, and add this word. They are welcome guests to folk of the Danes. To the door of the hall Wolfgar went, and to the word declared, To you this message my master sends, East Danes king, that your kin he knows, hardy heroes, he hails you all. Welcome hither o'er waves of the sea. Ye may wend your way in war attire, and under helmets Hrothgar greet. But let here the battle-shields bide your parley, and wooden war-shafts wait its end. Up rose the mighty one, ringed with his men, brave band of thanes, some bowed without battle-gear guarding, as bade the chief. Then hide that troop, where the herald led them, under Heorot's roof. The hero strode, hardy neath them, till the hearth he neared. Beowulf spake, his breastplate gleamed, war-net woven by wit of the smith. Thou Hrothgar, hail! He a locks I, kinsman and follower, fame a-plenty have I gained in youth. These grendel deeds I heard in my homeland heralded clear. Seafarers say, how stands this hall of building best, for your band of thanes empty and idle, when evening sun in the harbor of heaven is hidden away. So my vassals advise me well, brave and wise, the best of men. O sovereign Hrothgar, I seek thee here, for my nerve and my might they knew full well. Themselves had seen me from slaughter come, blood flecked from foes, where five I bound, and that wild brood worsted. I the waves I slew, nickers by night, in need of peril, avenging the wetters, whose woe they sought, crushing the grim ones. Grendel now, monster cruel, be mine to quell in single battle. So from thee, thou sovereign, of the shining Danes, Shildings, bulwark, a boon I seek and friend of the folk, refuse it not, O warrior shield, now I've wandered far, that I alone with my liegemen here, this hardy band, may Heorot purge. More I hear that the monster dire, in his wanton mood, of weapons wrecks not. Hence shall I scorn, so Heolach stay, king of my kindred, kind to be, brand or buckler to bear in the fight, gold-colored targe, but with gripe alone must I front the fiend and fight for life, foe against foe. Then faith be his in the doom of the Lord whom death shall take. Fain I ween if the fight he win in this hall of gold, my gaiatish band. Will he fearless eat, as oft before, my noblest thanes? Nor needest thou then to hide my head, for his shall I be, died in gore, if death must take me, and my blood-covered body He'll bear as prey, ruthless devour it, the roamer lonely, with my lifeblood redden his lair in the fen. No further for me needst food prepare, to Heolach send, if Hild shouldst take me, best of war weeds, warding my breast, armor excellent, heirloom of Hrethel, and work of Wayland, fares word as she must. 7. Hrothgar spake, the Shilding's helmet, for fight defensive, friend my Beowulf, to secure and save thou hast sought us here, thy father's combat a feud enkindled, when Heathalof with hand he slew, among the Wilfings, his wender kin, for horror of fighting fear to hold him, fleeing he sought our south Dane folk, over surge of ocean, the honor shieldings, when first I was ruling the folk of Danes, wielded youthful, this widespread realm, 
this horde hold of heroes. Herogar was dead. My elder brother had breathed his last. Halafdeinu's bairn, he was better than I. Straightway the feud with fee I settled. To the wilfing scent, o'er watery ridges, treasures olden, oaths he swore me. Sore is my soul to say to any, of the race of man that ruth for me, in hail wrought, Grendel with hate hath wrought. What sudden herrings, hall folk fail me, my warriors wane, for word hath swept them into Grendel's grasp. But God is able this deadly foe from his deeds to turn. Boasted full oft, as my beer they drank, earls o'er the ale cup armed men, that they would bide in the beer hall here, Grendel's attack with terror of blades. Then was this mead house at morning tide dyed with gore when the daylight broke. All the boards of the benches blood besprinkled, gory the hall. I had heroes the less, doughty dear ones that death had reft. But sit to the banquet, unbind thy words, hearty hero, as heart shall prompt thee. Gathered together, the gaitish men in the banquet hall on bench assigned, sturdy spirited, sat them down, hearty hearted. A henchman attended, carried the carven cup in hand, served the clear mead. Oft minstrels sang blithe in Heorot. Heroes reveled, no dearth of warriors, wender and dame. 8. Unferth spake the son of Ekglaf, who sat at the feet of the Shilding's lord, unbound the battle runes, Beowulf's quest. Sturdy seafarers sorely galled him. Ever he envied that other men should more achieve in middle earth of fame under heaven than he himself. Art thou that Beowulf, Breca's rival, who emulous swam on the open sea, when for pride the pair of you proved the floods, and wantonly dared in waters deep to risk your lives? No living man, or leaf, or loathe, from your labor dire, could you dissuade from swimming the main. Ocean tides with your arms ye covered, with strenuous hands the sea streets measured. Swam o'er the waters, winter storm, rolled the rough waves in the realm of sea. A senite strove ye, and swimming waters topped thee. Had more of main, him at morning tide, Billows bore to the battling Ramos, whence he hied to his home so dear, beloved of his liegemen, to land of Brondings, fastness fair, when his folk he ruled, town and treasure, and triumph o'er thee. Bayon stands bare, his boast achieved, so ween I thee a worse adventure, though in buffet of battle thou brave hast been, and struggle grim, if Grendel's approach thou darest wait through the watch of night. Beowulf spake, bairn of Edge Theo. What a deal hast uttered, dear my unferth, drunken with beard, of Breca now, told him of his triumph. Truth I claim it, that I had more of might in the sea than any man else, more ocean endurance. We twain had talked in time of youth and made our boast. We were mere boys, stripling still, to stake our lives far at sea, and so we performed it. Naked swords, as we swam along, we held in hand, with hope to guard us, against the whales, not a whit from me could he float afar o'er the flood of waves, haste o'er the billows, nor him I abandoned. Together we twain on the tide's abode, five nights full till the flood divided us, churning waves and chillest weather, darkling night and the northern wind, ruthless rushed on us, rough was the surge. Now the wrath of the sea-fish rose apace, yet me against the monsters my mailed coat, hard and hand-linked, help afforded, battle sark braided my breast to ward, garnished with gold. There grasped me firm and hailed me to bottom, the hated foe, with grimmest gripe. T'was granted me, though to pierce the monster with point of sword, with blade of battle, huge beast of the sea was whelmed by the hurly through hand of mine. End of section 2